Alex Hobbs, hello Gaffer. Alright Alex. Just thought I'd um oh where's it gone? Lost it. Just build the old switch wallet again. Did it on the last channel, so I might have thought might as well do it again. Forbes be music, hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good mate, good. One more day till Christmas, so that's exciting. Merry Xmas Eve, yeah, good one. Hello Gaffer, how are you mate? Let me just get some money out of the pocket. Right, you're gonna need a bit of craft card. I'm not sure the gravity of this, it's just thick paper really. Get yourself a playing card. King OK, hi. And you're gonna make this envelope slightly bigger than the card. Because you want this to fit in quite smoothly. So how oh, I've done it, that's probably a better centimetre from the edge. I'm going to use this ruler as a straight line. I'll just fold my paper up. So that is probably five or six mil either side of this card, bigger look. And then you're gonna fold up this edge, just using a ruler so I can get a nice crease. Fold that over. Hi right, Gaffer, all right King. Now you're gonna cut this off now. Now in the real world, you would take a bit more time over it than me. But I'm just showing you how to build it, so it doesn't matter if mine looks a bit scruffy. So you're gonna fold that over. That lip is gonna be folded under and it'll get stuck down that lip. And as you can see, that is about six or seven mil either side of this card bigger. What you're going to do now is create the bottom, so this piece here, you're going to cut this piece off. Literally, I don't know, 10 or 15 mil, it depends what you want to do, how big you want it. And we're going to cut this piece completely off. Get rid of that, because that piece is going to get folded up in a minute and get stuck. So you want to get rid of this little tab here. So once again, we'll cut. just here and cut this little tab off because you're going to fold that over that's going to get stuck and that's going to get folded over so get your ruler fold this tab over now get your scissors again and just round this off just makes the whole thing look a bit tidier Karen Brooks, hello Gaffer, great time and I got someone texting me, someone Facebook texting me from USA, oh someone on WhatsApp and they me, hey. So you're going to stick that down in a minute, that will create the bottom of the envelope, can't really see on this black one. Now you're going to work out how big this needs to be, so I'm just going to slide a card in there, I'll turn it around that way so you can see it better. And I'm going to make my envelope probably a good centimetre taller than this bit. But you want to work out which side you want your flap to go over. So the flap is going to fold this way. So you're going to cut this piece off. So you're going to cut that piece off there. So I'll just measure that, give me a quick rough guide. So I'm going to cut it at about 11 centimetres. So roughly here. And you're just going to cut to your crease. Like I was saying, if you're doing this for yourself, take your time so everything's nice and square. 
So that piece is going to get cut off. You want to cut off this little tab as well. Cut that off. I'm going to cut down here. And we'll cut down here. So once it's stuck, you'll have this little lips stuck down to that. That will fold over. Now this is going to be the top. So it doesn't want to be that big. So I'm just going to trim that off. I'm going to round off these edges. And you should be in a position like this now. You've created a nice little wallet. So it looks like that once it's unfolded. What kind of paper is it? It's just, it's just crap. It's very thin card. It's craft paper. You can buy this from a craft shop. It's just, kids use it. It was a pound for about 15, 20 sheets. It's like the thickness of a Christmas card, birthday card, something like that. You know the gap is very technical. So we're going to glue stick this, so you're going to glue stick this edge. And fold that over, fold that down. Stick it down. How are the dog is? The dog is are brilliant, they've just been out for a walk, so they're just lying down at the minute. Give Buddy his ball so they can hear it. Yeah, go on, give Buddy his ball. Now you're going to stick this tab down. Fold that over. Now what I would say is put this in a book for a bit to make sure the glue goes off, sets. And you should be in a position now when you've created a little wallet. What I would say is this needs to be really quite square because you're going to slide some paper in in a minute. So you've got a little wallet look. Right, you're going to get another piece of card which you've just cut off and you're going to cut a piece of card which is going to slip inside this wallet perfectly. So this needs to be a very accurate cut. So I'm just going to go and get my guillotine. Don't go away. Right, this needs to be very accurate, this cut on this bit. It says throwing it on the floor. because it wants to be a really nice snug fit in there oh that's a fraction off absolute tiny fraction that is now Just a sniff of a whisker this is. I want to thank Joseph Raysek for the guillotine. Cheers Jay. There we go. Perfect, that fits in there nice and snug. Get rid of the guillotine a bit. Oh, Peter Ford magic. This is the only live TV channel I watch nowadays. Brilliant. What are you sniggering for? Are you sniggering? Oh, thought my daughter was laughing at me then. Next 
live we will sign car to envelope gimmick yeah that was a tricky build wasn't it kid sign car to envelope now you're going to want to cut this off right where that line is right across there so i'm just going to fold that up and then cut across there slide that in there right that needs to be trimmed a little bit because it's flashing a little bit like I say when you build yours take your time so now you're in a position when you've got this envelope which will have a fake bottom now white card isn't the best to use, I would use black card, it disguises it better. So let's get rid of all this now. So you've created your gimmick now. How it works is, I'm not going to go through the trick because you can work that out. You're going to take your force card, whatever you want to call them, and you're going to pop them in either side of the sleeve because when you open it the one way the fake bottom will hide the fact that there are cards in there and when you open it the other way they will be exposed so I would suggest putting the cards in the top bit that's it and then you're going to have your let me go and get the rest of them actually. I basically had a load. Greetings from Tennessee, USA. Oh, hello. Congrats on the live stream. Thank you. Oh, Australia. Table talk magic. Is it British or? Oh, it's British, mate. English. You've got your blank cards. They're going in your envelope. You've got your cards hidden in the other side. So they'll all go in. You can fold up the envelope. Right, let me just show you a magic trick. Take out that, show the envelope to be empty. Now, if you make a better job of it, these sides won't flash. And this paper isn't quite as thick as this card. So a slightly thicker gauge card might help. So you can show it to be empty. You're going to get them to shuffle these. Pick any two cards you want. We'll just place them in the envelope so I can't be accused of tampering with them. When you close it, you're just going to push and close like that and the other side will open to reveal that they found the only cards with any writing on it because this was a Merry Christmas message. So that's just how to quickly build the Switch Wallet. Hope you guys have a great Christmas. And uh, have a great day tomorrow, guys. And just let me know in the comments what you get for Christmas. So comment, subscribe, like, and see you tomorrow. Cheers. 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 Okay. Hey.